That's right. Some good news. More water has been restored at this apartment complex, but something that the residents here really do need is water, bottled water. And then exactly that's what they're happening right now. You'll see that the constables have dropped off crates and crates of water, uh, giving them to residents here. I just talked to a mother. She said that she's been without water for three weeks. She has a three-year-old son. But again, that good news for you, 100% of the water has been restored on the east side of the property, and 63% of the water has been restored on the west side of the property. So they're definitely seeing some improvements here. The complex says that the issue has been getting labor and resources out here to fix the problem. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Look, you want to see my, my apartment? Morad hasn't had water for three weeks. He showed us around his apartment. Look at me. Look. Yeah. What is water? I'm not, I take shower at home, at, at the work. In fact, the only place there is water is on his floor. He says he's not sure how it got here. He's been trying to continue working and dealing with all of this at the same time. I go to work and I'm back, see like this. Go to work and back. Look, she, my mom, she sent me this from Morocco. It's a thousand dollars. Look, that's it. He showed us how the water has damaged the rug his mother gave him from Morocco. His home country. Maybe that one bring the one. Look, can you come here? The dirty dishes stacked up along with his frustration. Porta potties remain in the parking lot. Meanwhile, at least some of the complex got water back. One resident told us he got water yesterday. Oh, I need to go to my friend's place to take a shower, you know, just, you know, get comfortable or something. But it was hell even those past three weeks now, you know. I'm really glad he's back on now. He just came back on. For those that have been dealing with issues like Morad with no way to do laundry, to shower, or even wash his hands, it's been tough. I, I don't want to talk. I'm not happy. Now, the apartment complex management sent us a statement saying, in part, the biggest challenge we are working hard to overcome continues to be access to needed supplies, labor, and resources. They said that they even had help coming as far away from as Dallas in order to help them get the water restored, but seeing some major improvements here today. Still, many of the residents are scared to drink the water, but as you can see, this effort continues as some of the residents right here are continuing to get water for their families. And again, this has been something they've been dealing with for a number of weeks. We know that for three weeks now, some of the residents have not even had water at all. And I did talk to one resident who says she has some water, but she's really afraid to drink it, and you can imagine why.